high, you're on a rock, floating in space. Pretty cool, huh? Some of it's water. Fuck it, actually most of it's water. I can't even get from here to there without buying a boat. It's sad. I'm sad. I miss you. How did this happen? A long time ago. Actually, never. And also now. Nothing is nowhere. When? Never. Makes sense, right? Like I said, it didn't happen. Nothing was never anywhere. That's why it's been everywhere. It's been so everywhere you don't need a where. You don't even need a when. That's how every it gets. Forget this. I want to be something. Go somewhere. Do something. I want things to change. I want to invent time and space. And I know it's possible because everything is here and it probably already happened. I just don't know when to start. And that's exactly where it started. Nope. I paused it. I think there's a universe now. What's it made of? Quirks and stuff. Ah, that's a thing. In a place. Don't like it? Try a new place. At a different time. Try to stick together because the world is going to get bigger and emptier. But it's not empty yet. It's still very full and about a jillion degrees. Great news, the quarks are now happily married in groups of three, called a proton or a neutron. And there's something else flying around too that wants to join in but can't because it's still too warm. Great news, the protons and neutrons are now happily married to each other. Some of them even doubled up. Great news, the electrons have now joined in. Congratulations, the world is now a bunch of gas in space. But it's getting closer together. And it's getting closer together. And it's getting closer together. It's slow. New shit just got made. Some stars burn out and die. Bigger stars burn out and die with passion and make some brand new, way crazier shit. Stars, which allows newer, more interesting stars to be made and then die and explode into the So now stars have cool stuff around them, like rocks, ice, and funny clouds, which can make some very interesting things. Like this ball of flaming rocks, for example. Holy shit, we just got hit with another ball of flaming rocks, and it kind of made a mess, which is new. Weather update, it's raining rocks from outer space. Weather update, those rocks might have had water inside them, and now there's hot steam in the sky. Weather update, cooler temperatures today, and the floor is no longer lava. Weather update, it's raining. Severe flooding alert, the entire world is now an ocean. Rapid alert. That's What? Something's alive in the ocean. Oh cool, like a plant or an animal. Now, a microscopic speck. It lives at the bottom of the ocean and eats chemical soup, which is being served hot and fresh, made from gnarly space ingredients left over from when it was raining rocks or whatever. Oh yeah, and it can do that. It has secret instructions written inside itself, telling it how to build another one of itself. So that's pretty nifty, I would say. Tired of living at the bottom of the ocean? Now you can eat some light. Using a revolutionary technique, you can convert sunlight into food. Side effect, now there's oxygen everywhere and the sky's blue. Then the earth might have been a snowball for a while, maybe even a couple of times. It's a sponge, it's a plant, it's a worm, and some other types of weird strange water bugs and strange fish. It's the Calvin Explosion. Well, that's animals and stuff, but we're still in the ocean. Hey, can we go on land? No. Why? The sun is a deadly laser. Okay. Now the animals can go on land. Come on, animals, let's go on land. Nope, can't walk yet. And there's no food yet, so I don't care. Okay, we can learn to walk if there's plants up here. Maybe, set some bugs. And fish. <laughs> okay, so I can go on land, but I have to go back in the water to Learn to use an egg. I was already doing that. Use a stronger egg, put water in it. Have a baby on land, in an egg. Water is in the egg. Baby in the egg, in the water, in the egg. Works for me. And now everything's huge. Including bugs. Wanna see a map of the land? Sure. Oh fuck, now everything's dead. Just kidding, you're the survivors. Keep your eye on this one because it's about to become the dinosaurs. Here's another map of the land. Yeah, it broke apart. Don't worry about it. It does that all the time. Here comes a meteor. It's mammal time. Here come the mammals. Look at those breasts. Now they're gonna dominate the world. One of them just learned how to grab stuff and walk. No, like, walk like that. I grab stuff at the same time and bang rocks together to make pointed rocks. Ouch. And set things on fire. Youch. And make crazy sounds with their voice. Which can mean different things. And now they're everywhere. Almost. What? You can walk over here. Cool. Not anymore. Well, I guess we're stuck here now. Let's review. There's people on the planet. And they're chasing their food. Fuck it. Time to plant some grass. Look at this. I control the food now. Now everyone will want to be my friend and live near me. Let's all build houses, except mine is bigger because I own the food. This is great. I wonder if anyone else is doing this. Tired of using rocks for everything? Use metal. It's underground. Better farming was just invented in a sweet dang valley right in between these two rivers. And the animals are helping. Guess what happens next? More food. And more people who came to buy the food. Now you need people to help make the food and keep track of the sales. And now you need houses for people to live in and people to make the houses. And now there's more people and they invent things, which makes things better. And more people come and there's more farming and more people to make more things for more people. And now there's business, money, writing, 
laws of our society. I'm excited to a dank river valley near you. Meanwhile, out in the middle of nowhere, the horse is probably being tamed. Why is all my metal so lame and lumpy? Tired of using lame, sad metal. Introducing balls made with special ingredient tin from the far lands of Tinland. I don't know, my dealer won't tell me where he gets it. Also, guess what? China. Meanwhile, out in the middle of nowhere, they figured out how to put wheels on a horse. Now we're getting somewhere. Also, China. Did I mention in this room? The Middle East is getting more complicated, maybe because it's in the middle of the East. Knock knock, or clop clop. It's the people with the horses, and they made an empire, and then everyone else copied their horses. Greeks! Ah oh, look, it must be the Greeks, or a beta version of the Greeks. Let's check in with the Indus River Valley civilization. They're gone. Guess who's not gone? China! New arrivals in India! Maybe it's those horse people who are talking about their cousins or something. And they wrote some hymns and mantras and stuff. You can make a religion out of this. There's the Bronze Age collapse. Now the Phoenicians can get down to business. Also, can we switch to a metal that's a little easier to find? Thanks. Look who came back to Israel. It's the 12 tribes of Israel. And they believe in God. Just one, though. He's got like a 10-step program. Here's some huge heads. Must be the Olmecs. The Phoenicians make some colonies. The Greeks copy their idea and make some colonies. The Phoenicians made a colony so big it makes colonies. Here comes the Assyrian Empire. Never mind, it's the Babylonian media. It's the Persian Empire. Wow, that's big. Ah, the Buddha was just enlightened. Who's the Buddha? This guy who sat under a tree for so long that he figured out how to ignore the fact that we're all dying. You can make religion out of this. Oops, China just broke, but while it was breaking, Confucius was figuring out how to have good morals. Ah, the Greeks just had the idea of thinking about stuff. And right over here, Alexander just had the idea of conquering the entire Persian Empire. It's a great idea. He was great. And now he's dead. Hopefully the rest of the gang will be able to share the empire evenly between them. Knock knock, it's Shomer Gupta. He says, get the hell out of here. Will you get the hell out of here if I give you 500 elephants? Okay, thanks, bye. Time to conquer all of India. Most of India. But what about this part? That's the Tamil Kings. No one conquers the Tamil Kings. Who are the Tamil Kings? Merchants, probably. And they've got spices. I would like to buy the spices. Me said the Arabians swiftly buying it and selling it to the rest of the world. Hey, China put itself back together again with good morals as their main philosophy. Actually, they have three main philosophies. Out here, the horse nomads run wild and free, and they would like to ransack your city. Let's check the Greekification levels of the Greekified kingdoms. Greekification overload. Bye, said the Parthians. Bye, said the Jews. Hi, said the Parthians, taking over the entire place. Hey, said the Romans, eating the entire Mediterranean for breakfast. Thanks for invading our homeland, said the Jews, who were starting to get tired of people invading their homeland. Hi, everything's great, said some guy who seems to be getting very popular and is then arrested and killed for being too popular, which only makes him more popular. You can make a religion out of this. Want silk? Now you can buy it from China. They just made a... <laughs> You can get their own water. Sith new trade routes, said India, accidentally spraying their religion to the entire southeast. Mm, that's a good place for an epic trading kingdom. There goes Buddhism traveling up the Silk Road. I wonder if it'll reach China before it collapses again. Remember the Persian Empire? Yep, said the Persians, making a new one. Axum is getting so powerful they would like to build a long stick. Has anyone populated Madagascar yet? Let's do it together. Still can't cross the Sahara Desert. Try camels. Hell yeah, now we get business. Set the Ghana Empire selling lots of gold. That's like, hi, I live in the Roman Empire and I was wondering, is loving Jesus legal yet? No. Actually, okay, sure, said Constantine, moving the capital way over here to be closer to his main rival. Don't worry about Rome, it won't fall. It's the golden age. There's the Gupta Empire, not Chandra Gupta, just Gupta. First name Chandra. The first. Guess who's in Rome? Barbarians. What's a barbarian? Non-Romans. Said the Romans being invaded by non-Romans. R.I.P. Roman Empire. Or actually just half of it. The other half is just fine. But it's not in Rome anymore, so let's give it a new name. Let's figure out the stars. Oh, and here's a huge city. Population. Everyone. The Gop Turks have taken over the entire Eurasian steppe. Great job, Gop Turks. How's India? Broken. How's China? Back together. How's those trading kingdoms? Bigger and there's more of them. Korea has three kingdoms. Japan has a kingdom. It's the Sunrise Kingdom.